the biggest job to do in this house is to defend this bunch of incompetent governors of our economy. And no matter how you shout, your minister only two days ago borrowed at 29.8 percent, and you are saying that people are taking interest at 23 percent. When your minister is borrowing at 29.8 percent, only yesterday. And when he was looking for 4.9 billion, he got only 1.1. The minister as he's sitting here, he's confused as to how he get the money to pay them their money. And we are talking one point one. So you are not even aware of what is happening in your economy. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I heard somebody say that the Bank of Ghana is giving overdraft and that the Bank of Ghana is not printing money. Why? Is the Bank of Ghana a deposit taking institution? <laughs> Is the Bank of Ghana raising money through deposit? The Bank of Ghana is obviously printing money and throwing a government. Section 30 of the Bank of Ghana Act allows central government and BOG to operate on It is within the laws of the country. And so on the Bank of Ghana, uh, 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 Ghana's own balance sheet, they can give overdraft to government as a loan, which can be repaid within a specified period. And this is not the first time any government has done that. When he was deputy minister, Bank of Ghana supported the Ministry of Finance and Government of Ghana on the same arrangement within the Bank of Ghana Act. So what has changed? That today we are told the, the new economics from NDC is that when Bank of Ghana gives overdraft to Bank uh, government of Ghana, it is called printing of money. I am surprised. This is not economics, and they have to come again. It just shows their incompetence and their lack of appreciation of the situation. And so I just want to put it out there. First of all, we have not hidden any information. Bank of Ghana has not printed any money, and we want to clarify this issue. It is within the law.